Chapter 7 Bonds and Their Valuation In this video, we are going to solve problem 1 in this chapter about bond valuation. Problem 7 1 Coal Motors bonds have 10 years remaining to maturity. Interest is paid annually. They have $1,000 par value. The COPPA interest rate is 8% and the yield to maturity is 9%. What is the bond's current market price? We have to calculate the price of each bond. 10 years remaining to maturity, this is N, N equal 10 years, the maturity of the bond. Par value of the bond, which is a face value or capital M for short, is $1,000. The couple interest rate of the bond, which is the fixed interest rate the investor is going to receive at the end of each period, is equal to 8%. Here, if we want to calculate the dollar payment or the coupon payment, we have to multiply this coupon rate by the $1,000, the par value. So we have to say CR, coupon rate, times M, capital M, 0 0.08 times 1,000, which is equivalent to $80. The YTM, which is the interest rate in the market, is equal to uh, 9%. We have to calculate now the bond price today which is a bond value today, or V0. Okay, to calculate the price or the fair value of any financial asset, you have to calculate the present value of the future cash flows you are or the investor is expecting to earn or collect from this financial asset. In the case of bond, the investor, which is the holder of the bond, the bond holder, is going to receive the payment which is uh, the coupon payment at the end of each year plus the phase value or the par value at maturity. These are the cash flows of the bond. We have to calculate their present values. If you look at this timeline, okay, this is today and this is after 10 years. So at the end of the first year, you are going to receive the $80, which is what the payment, the coupon payment, the fixed payment. You are going to receive this $80 at the end of the first year, at the end of the second year, at the end of each year till uh, for 10 years. At the end of the 10th year, you are going to receive this $80 plus the par value, the par value of the bond, the face value of the bond, the $1,000. So actually, these are your future cash flows if you invested in the bond today. What is the bond value today? We have to calculate the present values of these cash flows. How can we do this? We can do it by calculating the present value of each payment aside. For example, present value of the $80, which is 80 divided by 1 plus i to the power n, 1 plus 0 0.09 to the power 1, the second divided by 1 plus i to the power 2, and each one aside, but it takes time. To save time, we can calculate the present value of all the 80s, the $80 at the end of each year, the 10 payments together in a single formula called the present value of annuity, because the annuity means constant payment at the end of each year. And here we have an annuity, the coupon payment is equal and constant for the maturity. Plus, we have to calculate the present value of the $1,000 aside, which is a single and a lump sum payment. So the formula of the bond will be like this. VB equal, this first part of the formula represents the present value of annuity. And the second part of the formula represents the present value of this future value, which is the face value. Okay, so the present value of annuity here assumes a payment equal to $80 and assumes an interest rate equal to 9%. So actually the I here and down in the denominator plus in the other denominator here is going to be the market interest rate, which is a YTM and not the coupon interest rate. The coupon interest rate is actually used to calculate only the payment, the $80. The N is equal to 10 here and here and here is equal to 10, which is the maturity of the bond. Okay, let's solve this equation. 
given this information, the payment is equal to $80. Okay, we put it here, $80. 1 minus 1 divided by 1 plus i, the i, as we say, should be taken as the interest rate in the market and not the coupon interest rate. So 1 plus 0 0.09, which is equivalent to 1.09, to the power n, which is 10 and equal 10 years the maturity of the bond divided by 0 0.09 plus the phase value which is $1,000 the par value of the bond divided by 1 plus i 1.09 to the power 10 solving this equation will give us an answer equal to $935.2 so this is a discount bond because it's selling below par value below $1,000